Okay, there's one other thing I wanted to add, guys. Sorry, um, but I wanted to show you just what blurring a person can do, which is kind of nice sometimes. Um, so if you have a person who's in motion or you're trying to set up context where some people are moving um, and some people are static, and the static people can be more realistic, but the people who are moving um, are not so much, um, it, let's get rid of some. Yeah, just enough. All right, good enough. Um, so, so basically, you can you can opt to do uh, something where you just kind of blur someone so they look like they're moving, and it it sort of helps to you know sort of declutter I think the the image. So she's going to be a little taller because she's up front, um, something like that. Probably a little taller than that actually, more like that. Um, so go to uh, let's do it in the filter settings. So let's go to motion blur. Um, motion blur is going to have a direction and then it's going to have a magnitude. So as you increase the magnitude, she blurs a little bit more. Oh, I, you know what? I'm starting to really not like this method because I keep forgetting that it leaves the white background. So um, let's go like this, get rid of all that. And then real quickly, I'll just kind of wrap it up on erasing the stuff. Wow, that was like the best on the spot erasing I've ever done. Okay, um, that should work a little better. Uh, let's get rid of some of this too. All right. Let's go to blur. We're going to go to motion blur. All right, that's better. So now as I increase the distance, she just kind of like blurs a little bit more. So um, if you kind of pull back and look at it, it, it helps because it, it keeps... Um, I think it keeps the eye from, from focusing on, on the action that's happening in the front. And usually with these kind of, um, you know, characters and stuff, you sort of, or this kind of entourage, you pull them off to the side so they're not overwhelming in any way. But it really helps to just do a little blur. So she would look a little bit more realistic if she had a shadow too, just giving you a heads up. But anyway, so that's blurring people. Mostly you want to use motion blur. Okay. Any other questions? Probably not. Okay.